Greeting to all our viewers. Today we'll be having conversation with Prashan Vithule, who ranked 34 in GATE CSC examination. Our viewers who are looking forward to chatting with the toppers or experts can contact us either on findmytest.com or chat with the help of WhatsApp number given in the description. Okay. So hi Prashan, congratulations for scoring All India Rank 34 in GATE CSE 2022 examination. So could you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Thank you. Uh, my name is Prashant Vitule. I have secured All India Rank of 34 in GATE Computer Science 2022. I am currently pursuing my BTEC from Government College of Engineering, Amravati, and I'm in my uh, final year. Okay, so Prashant, what is your GATE score and marks in GATE CSE 2022 examination? So my marks out of 100 was 66.33 and my rank was 34 and my GATE score out of 1000 was 894. Okay, great. So how many times have you attempted the GATE examination or was it your first time? No, actually, they have given us chance to attempt the gate examination in third year itself. So I have tried that that time. So at that time, I have secured around 1500 rank. Uh, and then this is my second time. So this time I have secured my all India rank of 34. Okay, great. So Prashant, when did you decide that you want to attempt the GATE examination as a serious career option? And when did you start preparing for this examination? Yes, so actually I thought of uh, giving GATE exam in my second year actually. So because I don't have that much interest in coding part, so I have decided to take GATE as an option. So basically my first focus was to take a PhD job from GATE exam. Uh, so, but after preparing for it and knowing go, get, get good, uh, I thought that uh, getting seat in a PSU is a little bit difficult than getting master seat in IITs. So uh, that's why I have changed my career plan. So uh, then I started preparing for getting seat into IITs, then preparing for PSU. So basically I have started uh, to get seat into PSU but later on it changes and then I have collected all my uh, what all information required for get from seniors and uh, then after lockdown means uh, from third year first semester I have started from June 2022 I have started my preparation and then I have given get in third year it itself not that great preparation but still I have managed to get a decent rank and then after in my fourth year, I have fully focused on my gate. I have not attend, attempted for any of the placements uh, because it shifted your, your focus to uh, shifted your focus and it a uh, little bit disturbing for your gate preparation. And I have started, I have continued with, with my gate preparation. Okay. Um, so Prashant, you do have other career option as a choice, like uh, you can, you could have given CAD or you could have uh, gone for private sector job. So why did you choose GATE over all other career options you had? Yes, so basically my background was a little bit more focused on GATE because of technical background. And one of my seniors had secured a good rank in GATE and I know about it and about CAT I don't know know much that about it and that's why I'm not focused on CAT and actually a gate is because it gives you a PSU job so uh, that's why I have focused on gate. Okay. So according to you what was the difficulty level of gate CSE 2022 examination? So basically when I uh, came out of uh, my center so I thought paper was easy uh, because uh, the questions uh, were not that difficult uh, and but uh, when when uh, when the paper is analyzed or later on it comes to know that it is was not easy but it is what difficult be lengthy because of msq so they were asking uh, four cross four matrix and they are asking to calculate eigenvalues in msq so it is definitely lengthy question it is not difficult question in the question like that question they have asked so 
after coming out of the uh, center and I, after another day i have calculated my marks it's around uh, 60 plus marks i have getting so thought like uh, if it is easy paper i i thought uh, my rank will be in 600 700 but it's luckily not that easy paper so i got good rank okay that's great so which book or study material did you follow for gate preparation and could you please name some very important books that gate aspirants must read so my my complete full gate preparation is from videos only and then but uh, when i did my previous year, previous year gate question so actually i read most of the link most of the references uh, that were present on the online portal many of the online portal will give you answers uh, and uh, and then i have read top universities uh, answers also some of the questions were directly from their uh, their question bank so i have read from them i have re read the top university questions then you can read from nptl nptl questions also that is msrd question uh, that provided by uh, direct iit's isc professors uh, so these are the my basic uh, uh, that is that these are credit these are the uh, i have used for my gate preparation this um, so, could you please name some important topics that you think should be specially focused when an aspirant is preparing for CSC gate examination? Uh, the most important is the C programming language. That is definitely five marks, five to six mark question definitely will ask from this. And then graph theory. Uh, graph theory is uh, very important. At least three question will be from there. And uh, a TOC part, TOC actually easier section. If you do well in it, you will be passed many of the student and you have a good chance to secure a good marks, good ranking in gate. TOC is very important because it is a little easy. And then you have to focus on digital. Digital is not that hard, but uh, it can be solved easily and you can secure a good, rank, good marks. You can gain an advantage over others in DLD. Uh, so an algorithm basically it's important algorithm data structure and c program it contains consists at least 20 marks of your gate paper so this is very important okay so prashant as we know and competitive uh, like a competitive exam isn't easy so what was your daily timetable you know when you were preparing for a gate examination so my actually my timetable in third year is totally fixed so so what I did was, uh, then first I, I I covered all the subjects, and then I started taking the test. Then after two months, what I did was, uh, not to forget all about all subjects. I specify some date of every month, like in uh, two for data structure, three for algorithm, uh, ten for TOC. So every month, actually in ten, uh, let's suppose it's October. In October on second, I have revised data structure on. Then on, on in November I revise on second data structure. So uh, every in every month I have some that specified for every subject so that uh, in every month I at least revise the subject so that uh, it does not I does not forget all about the subject. And uh, similarly till November I have completed all the subjects and from that onward I have started I have started taking full length test in my third year actually. So that that was my specific strategy actually i have worked hard in third year than my fourth year so it's all about third year which i got in my fourth year so in in my fourth year basically uh, i did what i randomized all things man, so that it, it should help me in my taking full length test because in full length test question were uh, coming from any of the subjects you have to be randomized so my revision was not uh, specified so when I wake up in the morning, uh, it's 4.30, 4 o'clock. So I started with revision, taking any of the subjects and started doing a revision uh, till uh, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. And then after that, uh, I have test, full end test from 9, 9 to 12 o'clock. Then I give that, not every day, but three, three times in a week. And other time I utilize for my revision. And my revision is completely randomized. So I take any of the subject and start doing revision doing previous year question 
and this is actually my strategy so all credit goes to my third year hard work that gives me a good rank Prashant, so we got to know your revision strategy. We got to know how you, you know, fix your daily timetable. But one question I have that, you know, when you are attempting, when you are in that examination hall, it is really very different from when you are giving the same examination or mock test in your home. So like, what was your strategy for attempting question in the examination? And how did you, you know, come up with like, help yourself with all that anxiousness or nervousness in the examination? So basically, I have given many mock tests, like full end tests, like 40 plus I have given full end mock tests. So I don't have any problem of how to tackle the paper, but the problem is uh, that the environment is definitely different. So my one thing I kept in mind that, uh, that the question there will be some question that you, there will be for you. So you have the question for you means आपके लिए क्वेश्चन होंगे वहां पे क्वेश्चन होंगे जो आपसे सॉल्व होंगे जरूर होंगे तो दैट्स थिंग दैट थिंग आई हैव केप्ट इन माय माइंड दैट हेल्प्स मी दैट वहां पे क्वेश्चन होंगे जो आपसे बनेंगे तो डरने की बात नहीं है जितने बनेंगे उतने बनेंगे आपसे नहीं बनेंगे तो किसी से भी नहीं बनेंगे सो दैट्स गिव मी अ लिटिल बिट कॉन्फिडेंस दैट देयर आर क्वेश्चंस दैट यू यू एबल टू सॉल्व एंड इफ यू नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम अदर विल आल्सो फेस द सेम इशू Okay, so uh, Prashant, any suggestion you would like to give to other gate experience? Uh, the suggestion is uh, only one thing you have to be consistent with your preparation and do previous year question and not only the uh, not only answer the question and just go uh, what is the logic behind what is the concept behind the question. Uh, and then explore it very de detail because uh, msq questions were there so definitely you need a detail knowledge about the that subjects or that concept so go very deeply in the about the concept of that question and the mostly question were similar to that previous year question what what they are asked mostly similar so if you analyze very carefully you will find the relation between the question asked previous year question like 10 year backs what they ask and now what they are asking they are asking uh, same concept but the language is different or something they have made the, made changes in their uh, asking the question we are asking the question or they make, made it msq so little bit detailed study you have to do and previous year question and consistency has to be uh, very good and uh, the motivation was if you are feeling for like i have prepared for 1.5 years nearly 1.5 years so what motivates you to do same thing was you are reading same thing and and same thing obviously if you watch a movie two three times you definitely got bored and it's a study it's definitely you have you you got get bored about reading same thing same thing so the motivation so it should be from internal uh, no one does for no um, other person it's 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 yourself you have to do for yourself only and uh, before be focused you know preparation and be motivated don't don't go for external motivation you need internal motivation for uh, preparing such a, for such a long time so be motivated throughout the preparation okay thank you prashant for your precious time and once again congratulations and find my test team wishes you luck and a reminder to our viewers who are looking forward to chatting with the toppers or expert can contact us either on findmytest.com or chat with the help of the WhatsApp number given in the description. Thank you.